What do you strongly suspect but have no proof of? That a relative is a CIA agent. She was in the Peace Corps, Vietnam era. Ever since she's been a world traveler, somehow able to drop her work and go hiking the Spanish version of the Appalachian Trail or otherwise go to exotic locales. Sometimes she came back with injuries, I fell as we were climbing some rocks. Her son is in the agency as an employee, not a spy, and he's married to a CIA translator. Do you mean she became a CIA agent before or after her son began working for them? If the latter, there is a very good mystery series by Dorothy Gilman about a lady named Mrs. Polifax, who is recruited as a spy because she seems like the least likely person to be. Their fun reads. I believe my grandmother was a serial killer. She was married seven times, each ending in a sudden death. She died in the 1980s, but everything is still suspicious and no one seems to know anything. I did find an article about her when she came to the US where her first husband died defending her after her ex-boyfriend climbed in her window in New York City. I also found evidence of her having been in prison before coming to the US. This makes me appreciate my grandma. The Kardashians usually wear solid colored clothing because it's easier for them to Photoshop. Excellent observation. I'm convinced they aren't really as dumb as they seem. It's all an act, fakery. I heard Kim speak in a WWDTM episode once, and I could feel the cogs turn, choosing her words not to sound too smart and to stay in character. That there is something seriously wrong with me and people aren't telling me about it. I feel I have some sort of serious mental disability, personality disorder, or even some slight retardation and no one will acknowledge it or admit it to me. I also sometimes feel like this. One of the most outlandish thoughts I have related to this is that I perceive reality wrong, and when I'm in public people are always wondering whether there's something wrong with me. I work for a call center for the marketplace in the US. There was no interview, barely any training, super high turnover, and super low morale. None of their decisions make sense. The entire operation almost feels like it's trying to work as poorly as possible so everyone hates it. That the ginger ale at this diner I go to every day is just coke and sprite mixed together. It is actually not unheard of for ginger ale to be swapped out for the coke sprite combo. They are just counting on you not noticing. Source, used to work in the service industry I think my local newspaper and news stations make up fake Facebook profiles to post inflammatory statements in the comment sections of their news releases. There are frequent commenters whose profiles have a basic name, no friends random intonation friends, basic profile information and only one profile picture who will make some outlandish comment that starts a war. Some zoos have empty exhibits and just claim the animal is in there, you just never see them. Somewhat unrelated. I was just thinking how cool a nocturnal zoo would be. Only open at night and they specialize in species that only are awake at night. That'd be sweet. Probably no business but cool nonetheless. Check out Singapore's night safari. That a lot of businesses in my hometown are just money laundering operations. 25 nail salons in a town of 70,000? 3,000 square foot DVD rental shop in the best block of downtown where commercial rents are very high? Dozens of $10 barber shops sitting empty all day but remaining open? Red flags all around. Love this one, there's some sort of metaphorical goggles you can put on and you'll just look around somewhere and see things slightly out of perspective and it just stands out. Like seriously when have you ever seen someone walk into a mattress store? And yet I've accepted the fact that they're so common and haven't thought twice about it. Edit, obviously I'm not convinced all mattress stores are scheming money laundering operations, it was just an example, and I found it interesting. I'm just saying go outside without your personal bias or normal behavior, you might see something new. That my brother stole and sold all my DS 3DS games for weed money. They were in a black case and one day they were gone, case and all. 
I still haven't beaten Pokemon Conquest, sad face. Edit, I am shocked at the amount of people that have also had this happen to them, sad face. It breaks my heart a sibling parent uncle would steal from a family member like that, and I hope you all have all the game's cards records that you could ever want now with no one to steal them. My uncle stole my N64 for drugs when I was a kid, he told me that his friend borrowed from him, but it never came back. In my city something bad is about to happen. I see a lot of mansions on sale, and houses with good location too. I think rich people know something that the rest of the people don't. Pretty paranoid, sorry. Edit 1, the economic conjectures are accurate, but in this city we have a petrochemistry, and like a month ago, an explosion was listened on all the city. That bath and body works has like, 13 unique scents. Every couple of months they just rotate the scents in and call them something else. Edit, thank you for the gold stranger. I read something similar to this by a Yankee Candle outlet employee most of the scents are identical, but the names get licensed, so they need to be changed from what's in the actual chain stores, and half the time in those main stores the new seasonal scent has just been renamed from last season. That the majority of Reddit is bots. It's remarkable how many posts top comments are just old posts top comments. There was a post on somewhere that did actual research about it and proved that a large majority of the PPL on Reddit were just bots karma whoring. There's one company in a town local to me who board up windows, nobody else in the area seems to do it. Every single window, door, abandoned shop, all done by this one company. They've got a ridiculous sized HQ and have put a decent amount of money towards fixing up other buildings in the area. So I've got a theory they're the ones doing the damage or paying people to do it, and then obviously getting the job of fixing it up as they're really well known in the area. Despite having no proof of this I am 100% confident I am onto them. Someone was repeatedly breaking my BJJ gym's windows. My gym being heavily populated by cops and PIs set up surveillance and caught the window repair guy doing it. My teachers would read and reread my essays, I'd get comments like upon reading again. They'd also make comments throughout the whole paper. I had some fantastic teachers who were genuinely out there for you to do well. They'd even offer to go over it with you after class if you wanted. Yeah my sister is a, final year of school in our country state, teacher, and she is really passionate about her work so she takes the marking seriously. Sometimes she'll be staying at my house and marking papers, and we sit and have discussions about whether they've earned two or three out of four points for X question based on the criteria. Some of their writing is so terrible she'll pass it on to me, a primary school teacher, and we'll try to figure out what it says. That's some Canadian guy who owns an antique shop that I bought a camera from in April recognized me. He acted flustered when I came in and I came back the next day to make my purchase. He sold me the camera for what I thought was a reasonable price and threw in an owner's manual in near perfect condition. A quick Google search reveals that it's an extremely rare camera that was only produced for two years. One 1000 still in existence are operational and one out of every 1000 working ones still has a certain part, mine does. This guy's whole shop was based around antique cameras and my dad talked shop with him for a while and he even explained to me how to find film or modify some for my camera. He knew what he was selling me and lost a lot of money on the transaction. I even got it appraised to confirm my suspicions about what it was.